In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on January 29, 2023 and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Michigan State vs. Purdue, a nationally televised Big Ten matchup is in store for Sunday afternoon when the Michigan State Spartans travel to take on the number one Purdue Boilermakers. The Spartans are coming off a 63-61 home win over Iowa, just missing the cover as two and a half point favorites. Purdue just won on the road at Michigan 75-70 as a five point favorite. This is a rematch of a one point game earlier this season, as Purdue barely beat Michigan State on the road 64-63. Michigan State is 0-4 against the spread in their last four games on Sunday. The over is 5-0 in the Spartans' last five games on Sunday. The under is 4-1 in Purdue's last five games. The under is 6-0 in Boilermakers' last six home games versus a team with a road winning percentage of less than .400. Purdue is number one in the nation, but they have not been blowing teams out, except for Minnesota. Purdue only beat Michigan by five, Maryland by three, Ohio State by two, and only beat this Spartan team by one last game. Tom Izzo is one of the best coaches in college basketball and will have the game plan ready to face this Boilermaker team. Michigan State is a strong team. They are 9-3 in their last 12 games and will be coming in with confidence after how close they played Purdue last outing. The Spartan guards, Walker and Hoggard, are quicker than their Purdue counterparts and should be able to find advantages on offense with their athleticism. Michigan State's defense was lights out in the last game and they have already proven they can slow down the Purdue offense. Look for the lack of scoring by Purdue to be the difference as the Spartans are going to keep this game close. I do also believe that Michigan State can win this game outright. This is too many points to spot Izzo against a team that has not been winning by big margins on a regular basis. So the Michigan State to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. If Michigan State wants to have a chance in this game, they know they will have to play slow. You do not want to get in a shootout with the number one team in the nation. The Spartans naturally play at a slow place. Their tempo is only ranked 309th in the nation. Purdue plays even slower, ranking 331st in tempo. This is not a surprise for a team with a dominant 7 feet 4 post player. Their advantage is inside and do not want their guards consistently outrunning their post game. This will be a classic Big Ten slow defensive matchup and will stabilize below the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Rutgers vs. Iowa The Big Ten gets set for a Sunday afternoon showdown as the Rutgers Scarlet Knights travel to Iowa to take on the Hawkeyes. Rutgers comes into this game with a record of 14-6 overall and 6-3 in conference play. Meanwhile, Iowa sits at 12-8 overall but just 4-5 in Big Ten action. Rutgers comes into this game with a 14-6 record and they have gone 14-6 against the spread. Rutgers is now an upper Big Ten game and in the last game against Penn State they gave up only 45 points. Clifford Amarui had a strong game finishing with 16 points and 10 rebounds. Rutgers is averaging 70 points while their defense is giving up 57 points per game. The offense is ranked 221st while the defense is ranked 4th. In this game, it's going to be important the defense steps up. Amarui is averaging 13 points while shooting 49.3% from the field. On the other side of this matchup is Iowa who sits with a 12-8 record overall and they have gone 12-8 against the spread. Iowa has been a strong offensive team, but in the last game they really struggled to score. The Hawkeyes only scored 61 points against Michigan State and they ended up losing by 2 points. Iowa is averaging 81 points while their defense is giving up 73 points per game. The defense hasn't been good, but the offense is ranked 21st and it's going to be need to step up here. This is a must-win spot for an Iowa team that is slipping out of on the bubble status for the NCAA tournament. 
The Hawkeyes have 12 wins on the season and need some signature wins to add to their resume. The Hawkeyes are 9-2 at home this season and have the kind of team rebounding that can compete with a Rutgers team that is tough on the boards. Iowa will need to stretch out the Rutgers defense with its perimeter shooting and then hit the glass for second chance points. Iowa also protects the ball even better than Rutgers this season so the Hawkeyes will not give away possessions. I like the more desperate team in this spot to pull out a victory at home against a Rutgers team that is just 2-3 on the road. So the Iowa Hawkeyes to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. This game will likely be played at the Hawkeyes' pace of play. Iowa ranks 54th in the country in pace of play this season. The Hawkeyes have scored 80 or more points in each of their last five home games. Rutgers will try to slow down the tempo as they did in the first contest, a 76-65 Iowa win. Iowa shot 52% against Rutgers on the road in the first game while holding the Scarlet Knights under 40% shooting. While it may be too much to ask for the Hawkeyes to shoot over 50% again, the nation's 87th-ranked shooting team will be closer to 50% than 40%. Expect the Hawkeyes' streak to reach six games of over 80 points at home. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Memphis vs. Tulsa Memphis will try to extend its four-game winning streak when it travels to Tulsa on Sunday evening. The Tigers have won eight of their last ten games, beating SMU by 15 points on Thursday. Tulsa has lost seven of its first eight conference games. Tulsa is 1-8-1 to to against the spread in their last ten games. The Tigers are 1-7 to against the spread in their last eight games against a team with a losing straight-up record. The under is 7-1-1 to to in the Tigers' last nine games on Sunday. There aren't a ton of positive things to say about the way either of these teams have been performing in the betting market this season, but I can't see Tulsa hanging around on Sunday afternoon. The Golden Hurricane are one of the worst defensive teams in the country and are not much better on the other end. They also do not have the size to both Memphis, which has been the only real issue for the Tigers this season. Sure, the Tigers have had some issues over the course of the season, but they've played decent on the road and the Tulsa Golden Hurricane are just not a team I'm looking to back with how often they fare to cover the number. Memphis should have their way in this match up against a Tulsa team that simply has no answers against the spread this season. Memphis is solid on both ends and is the 10th most experienced team in college basketball, so I trust the Tigers to take care of business in this game. So the Memphis Tigers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Memphis continues to go past the total due to its low turnover rate, high offensive rebounding percentage, and up-tempo offense. The Tigers play at one of the fastest paces in the country, ranked number 16 in average possession length. They are facing a Tulsa defense that has struggled to slow down opponents, especially in the paint and on the glass. Memphis has gone over in 9 of its last 13 games. Tulsa has been cashing the over at an even higher rate, going over in 8 straight games. The Golden Hurricane might not be great on offense, but their terrible defense has been the main story. When these two teams just faced off, there were 164 points scored, and there will be no shortage of scoring again in this game. This Memphis offense is elite, but their defense has been a problem and that is going to continue here. Here. There won't be any defense played by either team in this one. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like analyzed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.